Hi, and welcome to Jack's Foundations, where I'll guide you through Jack's from Google, and I'll show you how you can use it to power your research. I'm your host, Lawrence Moroni, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about what Jax is. No matter where you are in your ML journey, be it studying for the first time, engineering solutions with it, or pushing the boundaries of what's possible, there's one thing you all have in common, and that's the need to write code to implement machine learning. In a typical machine learning system, you usually have to cover much more than just model definitions and training, things like acquiring data, to pre-processing it, to defining a model, including all of the different types and algorithms there are for learning. And these can include simple neurons that learn weights and biases, to layers of these neurons operating together to perform deep learning, to more exotic functions like convolutions, gated recurrent units, LSTMs, or transformers. No matter the complexity of your model, there's one thing every algorithm type has in common, and that is the process of learning requires heavy calculus for optimizers, loss functions, backpropagation, and a whole lot more. And this leaves framework designers with a conundrum. The framework has to be comprehensive and give you a consistent way to do all of these things, from data to modeling to training, deployment, ops, and more. And a great example of such a comprehensive framework is TensorFlow. But if you want to push the boundaries of the discipline of machine learning, wouldn't it be great if you could decouple the mathematics from everything else and have something that's designed for accelerators so you can do the math really fast? And I mean really fast. And this gives you the freedom to experiment, iterate, innovate, and make new discoveries. That's the idea behind JAX. It's high performance numerical computing bringing together technologies like Autograd, which brings differentiation to Python code, and XLA, which stands for Accelerated Linear Algebra, which compiles algebra to low-level, high-performing code on accelerators like GPUs or TPUs. And that's what JAX is all about. The A is for Autograd. The X is for XLA, Accelerated Linear Algebra. The J, well, I asked three Google engineers what the J was for, and I got four different answers. So I'm going to use my answer. It's for just-in-time compilation. Regardless of the acronym, together they allow you to write code in the familiar NumPy API, but have your code compiled and optimized for accelerators. And this gives you the ability to really squeeze performance out of the learning process and speed up new discoveries where ML algorithms can push the edge of what's known. But to go back to this diagram, you might say, I really like the abstraction of a modeling framework, so I don't have to hand roll things like neurons or convolutions. And if I just start doing accelerated NumPy, I lose all of that. So with that in mind, JAX has been designed with the concept of shared libraries. So you can use something like Flax as a fully featured library for neural networks, or look into the ecosystem of libraries from DeepMind such as Haiku for neural network design, or Relax if you're interested in reinforcement learning, and many, many more. It's our goal to power your research to help you make breakthroughs and discoveries, and to get published more easily. If it's raw performance and power that you need to get there, then I hope this has demonstrated how JAX can help you. And of course, you're not just limited to accelerated math with JAX, you can also use some of the modeling frameworks. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much.